measured is here on uh, Cable 15 TV and uh, uh, on the web at Cable15TV.com to get to visit with one of my all-time great friends, mm -hmm. Randy Hector Ramsey from Merchants Hello, and Dave. Planners Bank. How's it going, man? <laughs> going well, sir. Doing well. Merchants and Planners Bank. And, and, and uh, of course, Hector, we call Randy Hector, and we've called him Hector forever. But uh, first of all, let's look back. I want to ask you, how'd you get the name Hector? I kind of know, but... We were at a fraternity party at ASU in 1980. Okay. And there was a few libations going on. And somebody said, we're going to start calling you Heck Ramsey. And I kind of looked at them. And I remembered there was a series back in the 70s that Richard Boone played a detective in, back in Oklahoma around the 1900s. Okay. And it was called Heck Ramsey. It was a very short-lived TV series. <laughs> okay. A couple of years and that was it. And so somebody stuck the tour on there, and that's how there we are. Hector evolved. Hector Ramsey yeah. ever since. Ever since. More Isn't people knew me by that nickname than my real name at ASU. Well, I guarantee so. you. And, and, <laughs> and, and sometimes in business, when you, you, you get to be in business and, and, and get to be at a bank, and, and uh, uh, you know, you might go by the more professional name, Randall Ramsey, or, you know, but uh, we just know he's Hector. We call him. We call and say, can we speak to Hector? They they get us to you. That, so. <laughs> and that, that, it's funny you say that because somebody will come through the drive-thru and it'll be a new teller. And they say, just give that to Hector. And she's like, we don't have a Hector that works here. <laughs> yes, so, yes. so she asks around and they usually get it to me. So. Yes, sir. Well, for those of you out there who don't know, tell us a little bit about you and, I mean, Newport guy. And tell us a little bit about growing up and, and uh, just... Uh, kind of how you got to where you are today. Well, I was born and raised here in Newport. Uh, Davis Ramsey, who was my dad, just recently passed away in right. September. And then my mother was Margaret Ann Roberts Ramsey. She uh, also is a native of Newport. Sure. And she's still alive, lives over on Josephine. And uh, went to high school here at Newport, graduated in 1980. Um, went to ASU, was over there for four years, was in a KA fraternity. Uh, graduated in 1984 with a marketing degree. And when I was at ASU, during the summers, I would come back and work for Ralph McDonald cleaning up cars right. at McDonald Chevrolet Buick. Sure. Worked with David there, yeah. Dean Sides, another good friend of mine. And so Ralph told me when I, would get, when I got out of college that he would hire me as a salesman. There so I came back in 1984 and started selling cars and uh, eventually worked my way up to sales business manager right. and then worked my way up to office manager. I was there until 1990. And then Dean got the opportunity to go to George Kell Motors sure. and buy in there. And so he asked me to go with him. And I went out there for two years. As I did also on stage yes. four. Yes, yes. And 1992, I was in the bank one day. And Mr. Gowan, my ex-father-in-law, right. uh, called me in his office. I thought, oh, God, what have I done? You know. <laughs> and so he offered me a job. And I said, well, let me, let me think about it for a little bit because it's not very often a guy goes to work for his ex father-in-law. Right. And so we kind of hammered a few things out and some, did some negotiating and uh, I came on board in February of 92 and as the story goes, been here ever since. Yeah, that's so. something. And you have worked through the trenches here at the bank. What's your job title now? And, I'm a vice president now. Yeah, isn't that something? Isn't that something? We used to say, Little Hector Ramsey, little John Clark. John our Clark, good friend, oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. Little Hector Ramsey's yep. doing real well. <laughs> and, you know, every time I see John, he asks, yeah, When was the last time you seen Little Hector Ramsey? And he'll ask about a few other people, too, but he always asks about you. And uh, uh, tell me about being here for that long, Hector. And, and some of the banking has really changed over the years. Tremendously. Tremendously. Uh, talk about some of the things that, that the old way we used to do it compared to the new way because there has been a lot of changes. It's got to where now it, it is so restricted with regulations and compliance. Uh, used to, for instance, you might walk in here and say, I, I know David, David's a good old guy. I may cut him 50% uh, percent off of 50 basis points off a of rate. Right. Instead Absolutely. of charging somebody nine and a half, right. I'll charge old right. David nine. Right. Well, you can't do that anymore. Right because then you get into all kinds of lending violations. Sure. And so now we have a rate sheet we have to go by, and it doesn't matter if it's my mother or my brother or my right. third cousin, I have to charge them the same rate that I would anyone else. So that, that's, a, that's a big difference, I think, in it. Yeah, and, and technology has changed. Tremendously. I mean, trem talk about some yeah. of the changes in technology that's really been advantageous to all of us who are in business. Uh, tremendously. Uh, used to, 
I mean, just for instance, email. You don't even think right. about something as simple as email. Right. We didn't really have that when I first started 26 years ago, you know, in the banking business. So that's come a long way. Computers have come a long way. Yeah. Uh, whenever we have a, we have like a call a cash letter that we do daily. Well, if the computers were down, years ago I'd get in a truck, drive to Little Rock to the Federal Reserve and deliver the cash letter. Really? But now everything's just electronic. You just punch a button and it's gone. So, and, and amazing what a cell phone can do just for, for yes, <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. I mean, a man could be out on the golf course and doing a little business on he the golf certainly, course. Couldn't he? he certainly could, <laughs> yeah. and that has been known to happen yes, once sir. or twice. Yes. Well, you have a love for golf and then uh, uh, playing quite well. Talk a little bit about your golf game because it, it's been pretty good. Well, it's it's good for the moment, but right. as you know, your son Grant plays quite a bit as well, and it can be up, it can be down, you know. Right now, it's kind of in the mid-70s. I know Dean likes to hear that because <laughs> we've got a big tournament coming up in July <laughs> next month. And so He wants you playing he, well, he doesn't wants, he? He wants me playing well. He certainly does, but I, I enjoy it. Uh, I'll play anywhere from two to four days a week. Right. And, of course, it's usually on the weekends or after work, Mr. Gowan. It's That's not, exactly right. Not during working hours. <laughs> no, sir. No, uh, sir. But we have a, a, I've got several good friends that we get together and have a competitive little game, and we enjoy it. So. All right. You're married to a local girl. Tell, mm -hmm. tell me about Terry and tell me about the, the, uh, the kids, grandkids. You don't have to name them all, but, I mean, just kind of talk a little bit about it. Got about married Terry. in 1997 to Terry Ivey, Jean and Jan Ivey's daughter. Um, she had two girls from a previous marriage, Lindley Jean and Gail. Uh, Lindley Jean is married to John Petty, who's a local attorney here. Right. And they have two children, Alice, who's five, going on about 15, <laughs> and Stella Blue. Stella Blue's uh, 16 months. Right. Uh, Gail lives in uh, Fayetteville, is okay. married to a guy named Alex O'Keefe, and okay. she has a daughter, Mackenzie, okay. and Mackenzie's 10. Wow. And so they, uh, we, we, we enjoy the grandkids tremendously. I guarantee you do. Yeah. I guarantee you. And, and Terry, of course, is uh, close to my age, but one of my all-time favorite people in Newport, Arkansas, and the, uh, just always loved her death and loved her mom and dad and just, just a really, really, really good yeah. person. Yeah. Obviously, you know that, married to her for a long time. And she's a special person if she's been married to Hector as long as she has. <laughs> and so, Terry, you're real special, okay? You're real special. Not, you're more special than I really thought you could be. I have to agree with Dee on this. <laughs> yes, sir. Well, we want to just uh, visit with Randy Hector Ramsey and uh, talk a little bit about him and, and, and banking. And uh, We're competitive. We, we appreciate people's business, but we want your business if they're looking for a absolutely. bank. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, locally owned, uh, come in. You know, we can usually get you a decision within a couple, two or three days on stuff, unlike, you know, some of sure. our other competitors absolutely. that might uh, take a little bit longer than two or three days. Uh, local decisions, locally owned, so we try to invest back into the community best we can. Well, there's no doubt that you do that, and, and I always say, and always in these interviews, it's 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 my bank, it's my bank of choice, has been my bank of choice we since I was that. a kid. Since I was a kid, I've been doing banking business here since, I guess, the first checking account I ever opened up with, either with Mr. Smith or Mr. Condit, Mr. Ransom Smith, mm -hmm. Mr. Hamlin Condit, and uh, 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 it's just uh, wonderful to do business with local hometown folks and where you can get decisions made, not on the spot, but like you say in a couple of days. Yes, sir. Randy Ramsey, my friend, yes, good sir. to see Be you, Hector. Good to see you, yes, Heck sir. Hector Ramsey, I did not remember the show, but I'm going to YouTube that thing when I leave here and watch me an episode of Heck Ramsey. Richard Boone's the man. So. <laughs> All right. Randy Ramsey at Merchants and Planners Bank. <laughs>